Welcome to Molly Mish. We're an American family of five driving on the world since 2008. After exactly two months since we ferried from France to Ireland, we're returning to mainland Europe via the Euro Tunnel from England. With the Delta wave of the COVID-19 pandemic looming, we are negotiating the logistics of getting off of this island and crossing international borders. Join us as we make our way back across mainland Europe towards Croatia. I think last time I shot some video, we are at the Adventure Overland Show in Stratford-upon-Avon, which is north of, I think northwest of London. And now we're in Canterbury at a uh, overnight parking spot, only about 10 minutes away from the Euro Tunnel, which takes us back to France from Folkestone to Calais and about I don't know four or five days have passed since I last shot any video for you guys mostly because we've been hanging out with some new friends you know which is something that's been really 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 rare for us lately still a little timid about just social interactions there's a little bit of I guess you know PTSD type syndrome from all the uh, lockdowns we've had and just the fear of infection from COVID still but you know Marley and I are vaccinated obviously that's why we're uh, out traveling Europe and UK again but uh, the kids are not and all the people that we've been hanging out with are also vaccinated but you can still get breakthroughs which is what we obviously want to avoid Yeah, so after the Adventure Overland Show, we stayed three nights there. It was actually quite nice because, uh, you know, we were in the spot where we could let the cats loose and run around, and they basically just had a free-for-all for three nights. Afterwards, uh, this family from the U.S., who we've been uh, friends with on Instagram for a little while, I've had some conversations with them, they are civilian contractors for the... The U.S. military. They work on one of the bases, one of the Air Force bases in the U.K. outside of England. So we've been sort of chatting back and forth about getting us on base to eat at Taco Bell. And you know, once he knew that we were here, we made it happen. In fact, we've been gorging ourselves, just really like unhealthy gorging of junk food for the last few days and you know we really who would have thought going back to France is a way to eat healthy <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to eat those croissants again croissants and cheeses and drinking the wine that's <laughs> healthier than what we've been eating and I mean we've been eating Costco pizzas Costco hot dogs chicken bakes Taco Bell we bought like $200 worth of groceries from the commissary. They got us into the commissary too, which is basically the grocery store and the shopping area on base. And you walk in and it just, uh, it's like it's like walking through, uh, you know, like a portal into America. And everything is in US dollars. And even like the, it, it looks like a Vons or Ralph's or, you know, whatever grocery store you shop at in the US. It looks like that, down to the checkout aisles and the cashier's machines, down to every little thing that they use there is from an American grocery store. It's almost as if they just built a grocery store in the US, took it apart, put it on a military cargo plane, and then shipped it over and reassembled it. And in fact, that might be exactly what they did, who knows? But it was fascinating. We, we bought 
all the stuff that we haven't been able to get for the last three years and uh, we had to find ways to put them all which that was challenging but we made it happen so that's what we've been doing you know we've just been hanging out with these new friends we uh we haven't really done much so that's why we haven't really shot a lot of video but there's not a lot to share anyways you know when we do days like this so we're just sort of you know um, getting ready to get back so today we're close to the place where we're going to take the channel tunnel and right now we're trying to find a place to park in Canterbury because we want to um, we want to take the kids to this pharmacy this chain pharmacy so they can get uh, tested antigen test what time's our channel tunnel train yeah 820 820 yeah we can be there four hours ahead of time to start our train and today I think is exactly to the day two months Ireland UK for two months um, obviously more time would be better but we uh, we we packed in a lot of stuff we left the spot that we were staying at last night and we uh, ran a couple of errands we first went to the sort of the pharmacy chain that's around here it's called boots and uh, they didn't know what to do they had never been told what people were supposed to do when they travel to mainland Europe for example no well, I, I guess it changes all the time then they've never been told what to do because I assume that it changes all the time so the current scenario is if you want to take the Euro tunnel to France you need to either be vaccinated or have an antigen test within the last 24 hours so me and Marlene are fine and if you're under 12 you're fine but that means our girls 12 and 14 are not they need to get tested because we haven't been able to find a place to get them vaccinated so we're gonna try to do that hopefully hopefully by the time we get back to France or maybe Croatia they'll be eligible so this is presenting a bit of a problem so we went to Boots the lady at the pharmacy didn't know but they gave us this for free I guess they're still passing these around there are seven antigen tests in here however for some reason France is not accepting tests performed by the NHS I don't know if it has to do with just the bickering that's been happening a lot between France and UK and it seems like within this these last couple of years there's been a lot of bickering between the two countries so we have to go to a private testing place and we'll, we just figure you know what if we go into the Euro tunnel area it's a big compound with shopping centers and everything you got to go in there early you got to check in it's high security and then you're in there you can just wait you can just there's places to eat places to do everything it seems like except getting COVID tests for some reason you can't do it there you have to do it at a private place and we asked the lady at the gate checking us in where can we go and she's like well we can't tell you where to go I said well is there a phone number I can call they're just like we just have to google it so so we googled and they they did actually send us a link to a a spreadsheet it was about a thousand email addresses names phone numbers it's like a thousand we don't know where how close and where these places are so um, we did a search and we found one a place called Hope Travel Clinic and this is where we are right now 50 pounds per person Marlene just went in with the girls we had to fill out some forms and uh, hopefully this takes care of it hopefully this is what we need especially after spending a hundred pounds that's about hundred and thirty dollars for these two tests compared to these seven free antigen tests that we got from the NHS France won't accept it okay, okay. all right thank you all right we're in we were in here earlier and uh, we couldn't get the couldn't get them to tell us the straight answer on the tests so we figured it out and now we're back I don't know how much time it's passed but um, now we can officially go through the process I'll show you guys what it's about you go in here and if you have pets you have to tell them 
how many people, how many pets, what kind of pets, and then um, your booking number and your your vehicle registration or license plate number. And then now we gotta go to the pet reception area. They're gonna have to check probably their pet passports and then um, probably the scan their uh, yeah their 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 chips to make sure they are who we say they are. I think that's it. And I think we just sit there and we wait for the next available train. I think we go through customs, yeah. Yeah, I guess. We going here? Yeah. Is that yellow? Okay. Yeah, we got to go through customs and all that, of course, but that's that's the normal process of like taking a ferry. So, but this is the the Euro Tunnel, aka Channel Tunnel, aka Channel. My first time doing this, so thought you guys might be interested in figuring out what it looks like. Found the Euro tunnel. Does that go to France? Well, so we're here now at the uh, Euro tunnel uh, depot, I guess, terminal, whatever it's called. It's not that busy. You know, I would imagine during normal times, this place would be really busy because I can tell that there's this is the waiting area and there's a lot of parking spaces all along the waiting area. And then they have parking spaces like on the grass over here. Where Marling's walking the cats with Luca. So yeah, nobody's here except for us. I think that's because not a lot of people are taking the train over to France for a bunch of reasons. Two of the main reasons I imagine is um, Brexit has taken effect now over a year and then um, the pandemic it is now required to have COVID tests if you're not vaccinated so that's why we had to go through this process that we went to but now we're just waiting you know the from what we know the way that it works is if you show up and there's room and they're not busy you can just get on without paying extra or whatever we bought the late train ticket we bought the 831 because it was cheaper but we knew we'd just show up here and wait for it anyways and just get some work done which is what we're doing now the kids are doing school Luca's done I'm editing a video here and if we can't get on an early one it's no big deal we'll just take the late one but if we can get on an early one it would be nice because we'll get to France earlier nobody's here it's quiet we've gotten everything done that we need to we've checked in so we'll just wait Ready, right? No. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go try to get on the newer train, earlier train. I mean, we don't know if it's gonna work. But we're gonna try. So let's see how it goes. Worst case scenario, we'll come back and hang out for three more hours. Just we have our home with us. We're in the car. We're yeah. Peeing our pants right now. There were a lot of cars here and motorcycles and stuff waiting, so they left, but they could have been booked on the earlier ones officially. Not us, cheap skates. Not us. We booked the late one for cheaper, <laughs> and now we're trying to smuggle ourselves onto an early one. The more expensive one. Um, okay, exited UK, passport control. We just left. The French passport control. They checked our COVID vaccination cards. They checked the girls' negative test results. Show them our um, residency cards. Look at the wiener dog. And now we are on our way towards the boarding area, I believe. And the passport lady on the French side said that we have to show our cards one more time. 
So the, or well, EU residency cards one more time? You, I gave you uh, gave passport. Her your US passport without your residency card. Yeah, because the the, the, um, the UK side care. didn't care. Yeah, but I. But the French side cares. Yeah. Oh, we may need to show it again. What letter? G3. G3. G. Uh, line 14. Okay, 14. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Looks like we can get on, huh? But we don't have to pay extra if they're just putting us in a lane. And we're the first person first vehicle here all right look at this we're going into to the butt of a train <laughs> i'll give you the head oh it's going in the middle the never done this before very scary, very scary. <laughs> it's pretty nice. yeah it's pretty cool it looks like a train oh yeah it does look like we're in a spaceship. It looks like a train, but without the chairs. Oh, wow. Kidding? We're a kitty, it is not a fairy. <laughs> oh, you're so scared. I don't like fairies. Can you get out and walk around? Okay. Probably don't want to, huh? I think it's just this. There's nothing like no rooms or anything. No, there's no, there's not facilities of any kind. You can just stay in your car for like 35 minutes. Yeah. In out, in out. I don't want to be halfway in between, you know, because the train may wiggle a little bit. So, however that goes, I don't want to be in between. Oh, look at they close like doors and stuff. Oh yeah. So you can't be in between. Right. That's how they make sure you're some people are not in between. Right? They, they travel up yeah. the other so maybe you don't go on, unless there's room. We'll right. Here. We're going to stop here. There's no room there. We're going to be at the very front from the looks of it. All right, just like that, magically, never went on a boat. We're back in France. We're just gonna find a place to uh, sleep for the night. That's kind of close to Kong, so we can be there at the garage at 11 or something. No, he said 11, so we have plenty of time to sleep in and get there. Yeah, it seems. It seems that he can tell what kind of people we are. Ooh, back in Europe. 